Well, it's no secret the annual basketball tournament draws statewide attention every February, but 72 middle and high school teams met in South Portland for championships of their own today. It's a unique competition, but as New Center Maine photojournalist Adam Paul shows us, it requires the same level of teamwork and commitment as any other sport. It's great to see how far they've come. We've had students who started the summer really unconfident, and the students we've seen then have completely changed. They're a lot more confident. We are just so excited to see all these teams and seeing the excitement and energy they're bringing onto the field. I think the exciting thing about robotics is it's a very open-ended problem, and so you get to see the ingenuity of these groups of kids. They come together as a team to try to solve the challenge. It's more about what are we teaching you? What are you getting out of this as you go through this process and everything? And that's, that's why I like this. Given that opportunity to teach more kids how to think, how to go through this process, that's really valuable, not just for robotics, but for anything you want to do. As, I love how unique it is in a, in a way. It's how every team has its own thing to go that goes along with it. Right, what's your team's thing? Big. Yeah, yeah big and is big. Okay. Yeah. In the first meet that we went to, we noticed we got pushed around a lot, and we didn't really like that. Kind of took it personal. So, for the for the rest of the season, we've been building the biggest bot that we can that can push people around. You know, there is the science, the math, the STEM. But what I really like about this program that I think kids need to learn from a young age is that tackling a problem, also a large problem, they need to work work on teams. These are all main kids, and they're exactly the kind of high technology innovators that we want to be here when they finish college. Time runs down. Looks like we got a and Adam Paul with that story. The finalists from today's competition will go to Texas in April for the World Championships. Wow.